pretty even split among the folks that follow this about what OPEC will do. What's your take? Well, you're right. I mean, it is uh, split down the middle. There's, uh, I think, uh, Iran and Venezuela on the one side that are um, both politically and econo economically motivated um, uh, to seek a cut in production. Um, and then other countries um, like Saudi Arabia who have been a little bit more tight-lipped um, or, or just a little bit less um, willing to, to show their cards. I mean, you know, the, the, the meeting is just around the corner. So what do you think? Uh, well, I, I, I fully expect, um, you know, honestly, the status quo since 2009 has been that they held production um, right around 30 million barrels, uh, 30 million barrels a day. Um, so I wouldn't be all that surprised if, if, if they, if they uh, disappointed everyone and, and kept it there. Interesting. So when they talk, how much relevance and how much of a threat do you think it is to them when they talk about the U.S. and Canada and the rise in energy production in this region of the world? Right. Is, how much of a threat is it to OPEC and how much will they be talking about it and pr possibly acknowledging it? Right. Well, I think, um, you know, OPEC as a, as a block, um, you have to disaggregate it a little bit. Um, U.S. and Canadian production, sort of the shale revolution, uh, is definitely more of a threat to Venezuela, um, uh, for example, than it is to Saudi Arabia. Um, as far as, uh, I mean, U.S. and Canadian production um, is, is going to continue to surge. Um, you know, I know some of these countries are, are really trying to address this sooner rather than later.